Yo guys, what is up? Max and I want to land this video and today we're talking about a class mod that's really really good That's been flying under the radar and I talked about this class mod in my plague bringer build video I've used it for a bunch of builds But I kind of wanted to make a separate dedicated video just going over some of the cool effects that you can do with this class mod And why it's so useful for so many different types of builds. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it so the class mod that we're talking about is the Corrupted Plate Mail, which reads convert 30% of the Fate Maker's damage dealt to Dark Magic damage. Dark Magic efficiency is increased by 30%. Now, I discovered this special effect of this class mod or how good this thing is uh, a while back, back when I was trying to make a like never reload gun damage build. I was trying to make a shotgun build. It kind of ended up turning into something completely different. So I never actually made a video on it, but I found out that the Universal Soldier, it reads whenever you deal melee damage, you have a 30% chance to instantly reload 100% of your currently equipped guns ammo. And I was trying with this and the Executioner's Blade to be able to fire my shotgun infinitely and basically make an infinite ammo build. It didn't work very well though, as I wasn't consistent enough to proc Executioner's Blade, which was a chance, and then to proc this, which was also a chance, uh, enough to actually be able to fire my gun all the time. That was until I put on a Corrupted Plate Mail. When I put on the Corrupted Plate Mail, it adds a bonus element that is unique in that it is another instance of your damage, which is separate. It has its own chances, that separate damage, and it has its own chances to proc its own things. So, for example, this reads, whenever you deal melee damage, you have a 30% chance to instantly reload 100%. Now I was having two instances of melee damage, and I was doubling up my chances to proc Executioner's Blade. This actually led me to be able to more consistently be able to infinite fire my shotgun when I was using this combo when I had the Corrupted Plate Mail equipped. Now, the build didn't really turn out like as well as I wanted it to, so once again, I never posted that video, but the Corrupted Plate Mail has a lot of really interesting uses for it, and so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. So just to showcase the potential power of this class mod, I'm going to start by using this weapon called the Head Cannon. Now, the Head Cannon is a unique pistol that when you fire it and you crit, it causes an elemental explosion. So I'm going to hit a non-crit here. Uh, as you can see, no elemental explosion. Uh, let me take off my class mod real quick so we don't interfere with that. So there's a non-crit, no explosion. Now, if I hit a crit, I'm going to get an explosion. Now, the 9,000 is my base damage that I just did with the weapon, and the 4,000 damage is the explosion. And this explosion only happens on critical hits. Now, as you can see, there's always just one damage number there, one explosion number. Now, if I put on the Corrupted Plate Mail, I'm doubling my instances of damage. So I'm getting two instances. And now, when we shoot, we get one number up top, which is our damage from our original shot, and then we actually get the explosion to trigger twice. The explosion will trigger again off of one shot. So I've got one shot up here doing damage, and then I get two explosions per every critical hit, which can turn this weapon into kind of a monster. This weapon's already pretty strong in its own, but if you wanted to pair that with From the Shadows, then you've got a From the Shadows build with a pistol that will proc its explosion twice every time you critical hit. And that's kind of just the start of how cool some of the things that you can do with the Corrupted Plate Mail are. So one of the very cool interactions with the Corrupted Plate Mail is Play the Angles. Now, Play the Angles is a chance skill. Uh, you can see it right here. It has a chance of procking on gun critical hits. Now, to do this test, I'm going to be using a times 18 body rocker, which is cryo damage, and I'm not getting any other bonus elements. And one of the cool ways to actually see how this skill works is the looking for where the torque projectiles go, because they're very clear and easy to see. So as I start firing these projectiles off, uh, you'll start to see uh, uh, these projectiles that are now stuck on Parasite, both have damage instances of cryo and dark magic. And when they proc, uh, play the angles they'll proc projectiles based off of the damage instance that triggered them so here we can see that these are both these are dark magic cryo projectiles uh that right there is a dark magic only so if i turn damage numbers on and that hits uh, as you can see the first number was was dark magic that was really fast because it'll go really fast but dark magic hit it first that was a dark magic instance here we've got another dark magic instance looks like this is the only one coming here uh so there we go just dark magic on this one and then here comes the cryo ones and you can see it was also sending one back but 
the Torg projectiles are a really cool way of seeing that both of these damage instances have a chance of triggering it. Uh, we've got uh, Cryo ones here, we've got a both one there, and both the Dark Magic and Cryo instances have a chance of proccing Play the Angles. Now, where this gets really interesting is the damage split can proc play the angles twice. And showing on screen right now, I was using a times one sword explosion. I shoot that times one sword explosion and I get a play the angles proc off of the fire, which does the fire. And then you can see that it does way less dark magic damage because it was the conversion of that damage into dark magic. And then we actually get a full dark magic number that is higher than the fire. And both of those proc instantaneously. I only shot once I want a one projectile meaning I got two play the angles off of a only one projectile shot. So play the angles works very well with this. Now, before you guys go all crazy with this class mode, I just want to give an example of where it's actually not good to use this. And that's with skills that already can receive up to 100% chance of activating. So for example, we've got double knot skill. Whenever the Fade Maker scores a critical hit with this spell, deals bonus gun damage of his gun's element. Now, if you were below 100% spell critical hit chance, wearing a class mod that is going to give you increased chances of proccing that is actually really really nice however once you achieve a hundred percent spell critical hit chance it kind of loses its helpfulness so i just want to do a quick test here to show you guys uh right there i hit for my with my spell for 17,000 base with it and then i did 9,789 and 7,998 uh the uh, shock damage is my double knot. The dark magic damage is my damage convert. And then when I take that class mod off, you'll note that my spell damage is going to go way up. Uh, so I just did 25k with my spell and then 11k with my double knot. And those numbers, if I, I probably added them up post recording this uh, to show you on screen, hopefully, but those numbers should be around even. And the fact that I could be wearing a class mod that is actually going to give me more spell damage or give me more cryo damage or whatever, in, instead of just converting stuff and actually losing damage, uh, usually for skills that you can guarantee proc are not usually worth. Not usually worth unless you're only rocking a chance of proccing them. And lastly, you can proc Alchemic Agent twice uh, with your two different damage sources. So I'm not wearing a weapon or a like holding a gun at all. And when I go into From the Shadows here, let's see if I get lucky. Um, I just procced both a Fire Dot and a Poison Dot off of that one punch. So the Dark Magic Dot is guaranteed, obviously, or is my Dark Magic damage. But... One of those damage instances proc a fire dot on this thing, and one of those damage instances proc a poison dot. Uh, and alchemic agent is a very, very strong skill. So I can actually double proc alchemic agent, um, which is perfect for our plague bringer contagion build. Once again, I'm not expecting contagi contagion. There's no other way that I would have gotten another element on that. So double proc that. And lastly, uh, when you're holding a live wire, live wires chains are every two chains. But when you're using a live wire. Um, you actually get the chain every single punch as opposed to every other punch, which is really cool. I've actually been using this class mod on um, Volt Viper, the cur the convert, and I couldn't get away from it on Volt Viper. I always found it to be better, and now I know why, because I didn't originally understand that it actually was causing the chains to proc every single time. Um, so very cool there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch y'all in the next one. Take care. Peace.